We give you honor. We give you worship. We give you adoration. We give you praise. We give you thanksgiving, Lord Jesus. There is none like you. We honor you today. We bless you. We bless you. I bless you, Lord. I bless you, Lord Jesus. I give you glory. I give you all the adoration. I give you all the thanks. I give you all the honor. There is none like you, Lord Jesus. Day 9. 150 days of Psalm. We thank God for this opportunity for us to be able to read publicly the scripture and also to be able to continue seeking the face of the Lord together even as we continue with the presence of the Lord. Today we are on Psalm 9 and I thank God because I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you to be able to pick up a Bible of a different dialect from the one which you are used to and be able to read it or try and teach yourself to read it. And that way we will be getting more equipped because you know what? It takes a long time to translate Bibles and particularly if you have never bought a Bible in your copy of your mother tongue, if at all you are a Kenyan, um, I want to encourage you to buy one copy and also do that. So I'll be reading, I'll try to read in one of the dialects I am able to be fluent in. And I thank God. But I want to start with Psalm 9. And this is, as usual, the way we do it. Psalm 9. We're going to read it from the Word of God. And uh, in obedience with what the Lord helped us to begin at the beginning of this wonderful wonderful month of march we want to give glory to god if you are new here just use the hashtag 150 days of psalm and you'll be able to see a lot of uh, the scriptures that we have done before and you'll be able to be blessed yesterday we were reading on psalm 8 and we thank god because of the wonderful deeds of the lord we thank god because of his word we thank god because of his power we thank god because of his majesty and that's a good thing. So join me as I do the public reading of uh, Psalm 9 live on this wall as starting now. Director of music to the of the Psalm of David. I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. I will be glad and I will sing praises of your name, O Most High. My enemies turn back, they stumble and perish before you, for you upheld my right and my cause. Sitting enthroned as the righteous judge, you have rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked. You have blotted out their name forever and ever. Endless ruin has overtaken my enemies. You have uprooted their cities. Even the memory of them has perished. The Lord reigns forever. He has established his throne for judgment. He rules the world in righteousness and judges the peoples with equity. The Lord is a, is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Those who know your name trust in you. For you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. Sing the praises of the Lord enthroned in Zion. Proclaim among the nations what he has done. For, for he who avenges blood remembers. He does not ignore the cries of the wicked. Lord, see how my enemies persecute me. Have mercy and lift me up from the gates of death, that I, may dwell, that I may declare your praises in the gates of daughter Zion, and they rejoice and they rejoice in your salvation. The nations have fallen into the pit they have dug, their feet have, are caught in the net they have hidden. The Lord is known by his acts of justice. The wicked are ensnared by the work of their hands. The wicked go down to the realm of the dead. All the nations that forget God. But God will never forget the needy. The hope of the afflicted will never perish. 
Arise, Lord, do not let mortals triumph. Let the nations be judged in your presence. Strike them with terror, Lord. Let the nations know they are only mortal. Here is a Swahili version. Nitamshukuru Bwana kwa moyo wangu wote. Nitasimulia matendo yake yote kwa ya ajabu. Nitafurahi, nitafurahi na kushangilia wewe. Nitaliimba jina lako wewe uliye juu. Kwa sababu adui zangu hurudi nyuma. Kujikwaa na kuangamia mbele zako. Kwa maana umenifanyia hukumu na haki, umeketi kitini paenzi ukihukumu kwa haki. Umwakemea mataifa na kuwatangamiza mdalimu. Umelifuta jina lao milele na milele. Adui wamekoma na kuachwa ukiwa mile, na kuachwa ukiwa milele. Nayo miji yao uliingoa. Hata kumbukumbu lao limepotea. Bali basi bali Bwana atakaa milele. Ameweka kiti chake tayari kwa hukumu. Naye atakao hukumu ulimwengu kwa haki. Atawa atawaamua watu wa adili. Bwana atakuwa ngome kwake alie alionewa. Hey. Naam, ngome ya wakati nyakati za shida. Nao wakujuao jina lako watakutumaini wewe. Maana wewe Bwana hukuacha wakufuatao. Mumbieni Bwana akae sayuni yatangazeni kati ya watu matendo yake maana mlipiza kisasi cha damu awakumbuka hakukisahau kilio cha wanyonge wewe bwana unifadhili unifadhili tazama mateso nitwesayo na wanao nichukia wewe uniunuae katika malango ya mauti ili nisimsimuli ili nizisimulie sifa zako katika mlango ya binti za yuni nitafurahia wokovu wako mataifa wamezama katika shimo waliofanya walilolifanya kwa wavu walioficha imenaswa miguu yao bwana amenije ameni dihirisha na kutekeleza hukumu amemnasa mdalimu kwa kazi ya mikono yake. Wadhalimu watarejea kuzimu. Naam, mataifa yote wanaomsahau Mungu kwa maana muhitaji hatasauliwa daima. Matumaini ya wanyonge hayapa hayatapotea milele. Simame, mwanadamu sipate nguvu. Mataifa wahukumiwe mbele zako. Bwana uwaweke uwa kitisho mataifa na wajijue kuwa ni binadamu praise the name of the lord i'm going to try this in kamba ladies and gentlemen <laughs> i'm going to try this let me tell you what uh once upon a time uh you know i, I went and told a friend of mine i said I want to learn Kamba because you know I was born town. I did not know how to speak Kamba from reading. I never went to school for Kamba. So I went and, and asked, can I get a Bible? Can I get a Bible in Kamba? This was way back in 2004. And this Bible is pretty new, the one I have. You know, by one of my grandmas, she was able to present it to me. She presented it to me on 1st August 2004 and I wrote even the time in Machakos and you know it's been pretty new so I thought about it I was like hmm how about try to read it live how about try to read a Kamba Bible live and begin to learn so guys do not try and laugh at my accent I might not read it the way it's supposed to be read but This is the word of God and I know it is going to touch somebody's heart somewhere in the mighty name of Jesus. <clears throat> so here we go. 
kuchonga muvea nundu wa ugo wangai nga mutungia muvea nga mutungia yova muvea na ngoya kwa yonde ngona nya mawe ya maku onde maosenya nga tana na kuiwa moyo muno ndini waku ngaina ngio kumya sitwa yaku we ula we uluwa onde yela maida makwa masioka na etina malulu uteka na na kwaia kwaia mbe wa udhi waku hey i like i hey that one have to start again verse three yela maida makwa masioka na etina malulu uteka na kwa na na kwaia kwaia mbe wa udhi waku ni kwethe wa niwa nunu niwa numelelie chanda chakwa na ovo wakwa niwe kala kivela ni cho sumbe ukisila na lungalu niwa niwa kandi ye imbai Niwa manang niwa manangie ala ade niwa manangie ala ade Niwa vutie masietwa mo kuvika tene na tene Amaida ni maamini amaida ni maamini etwe Maivo kuvika tene na tene Na ndoa ila wa wa nguzu wa nguzu Galile hey praise the lord ona kolili kanwa kwasio ni kwa delile or even their remembrance were forgotten that is what that says verse 7 inde over ekala emusumbe tene na tene niwe ni ni wieta kivela chake cha usumbe cha usila na akasilelande akasilelande na olungalu nake aka nake aka aka tweyango syandu sila ola wailete now you see my name here sila means judgments righteous judgments yehova nake akedewa mwako mutolu muno na munyolo na munyolo na ala madhi na wa mwako mutolu muno wa munyolo mavinda wa mama dhina aha na ala mesi yetu yaku na ala mesi yetu yaku makaa kwe makaa kwe kwatia we ni kwethi wa we yehova ndona amba kumatia ala makumanda hey you not forsake those who seek your face that's verse 10 inai muikumia yehova ola otwie sayoni tabaniai meko tabaniai meko make kati ya ando ni kwethe wa ola weba na siandakame no malilikana ndolwa niku nikukaya kwa nja biwete ame yehova sisi adhena wakwa ola ni dhinetwe ni alama menanye we ola umbu kilasia kuma bingi loni sia kekuo haleluya praise the lord ikana nona niendaye asia ya kuyonde bingi loni sia mwetu wa sayoni nga nga tania utangieoni waku i will rejoice in your salvation that's what he says imbai ni sia kuluma ni ile imani sia imani ila sienzi mo ene nima 
keti wa maomo ni muteo ola mavidhe mavi they will uh, fall into the whole place where they have dug the holes eh? yehova ni ona nisye ni wa tuye sila ola mudhuku ni kutwewa ni wea wa moko make mwene ala adhuku maka tungwa selsioli ona mbae sionde ila sioli lwe ningai ni kwethi wa adheni matiko lwa mavinda onde kana we kwa tiwanja kwa kuvika tene na tene okila ame yehova mundu ndaka akilie ndaka ukilia vinya e mbai nisi nisili lwembe yaku tuma tuma mak, makia ame yehova e mbai mbai imane ati no wando praise the lord i've successfully read a bible in vernacular and tomorrow i'm going to try in kikuyu hmm? you know when you just love the word of god you want it in every you know i know a lot of you love money if i give you a dollar you don't say no no this one is not kenyan if i give you a pound from britain You not say no 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 I only work with Kenyan shillings. So why do you want only to know the Bible in one language? You need to know it in several languages. Challenge your mind. Tell yourself I want to learn a new language. Eh my brother Ugochuku Omoneaku all the way from West Africa. <laughs> It's been a minute my brother. I thank God for you. And today we are on Psalm 9. Psalm 9. Tell it all. Is the title of this psalm I've called it. Tell it all, tell it all, tell it all, tell it all. Tell it all, praise the name of the Lord. When you look at the title of Psalm 9, it starts by the tune of the death of the son, a psalm of David. What kind of tune did David have to the death of a son? I will give thanks to you, O Lord. With all my heart I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing the praises of your name, O most high. Before even you go into asking God for th Before you even go into asking God for things. Have you found time to just thank him for his word? Have you taken time to just tell him I will tell of all your wonderful deeds i will tell and now we have so much opportunity to tell of the wondrous works of the lord we have so much opportunity to tell of the goodness of the lord to tell of the majesty of the lord to say my enemies turn back they stumble and perish before you for you have upheld my right and my cause sitting enthroned as the righteous judge you are assured that when god is on your side you will have something to tell about his goodness you will have something to tell about his majesty you will have something to tell about his power you will have something to tell about what you have done the verse verse 5 says you rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked you have blotted out their name forever and ever If you look at what's happening in the nations of the earth right now the different pestilences the different sicknesses the different conditions the different circumstances are all pointing to one thing the soon return of our Lord Jesus Christ but as he returns we want to be found ready witnessing fellowshipping praying and reading the word Those are four most important aspects of the Christian walk with the Lord. Being able to have Christ as the center, prayer and fellowship as one of the vertical spikes, and of the horizontal spikes we need to have fellowship and what? Witnessing. Witnessing is not a resolve of the evangelists according to what you call them. All of us were given a great commission. 
all of us were given a great commission and we were told of the Lord that as we go out, go ye and make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Matthew 28, 9, uh, Matthew 28, the great commission. It's a great, great commission. It's the last thing that the Lord spoke in Matthew 28, 19 and 20. It says, therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you, and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. This is a great assurance when God gives us an assurance and tells us that I will not leave you. I will not forsake you. I will go with you. I am with you. I am with you. Not the one that we tell each other when we meet. When you meet somebody and says, Ah, tuko pamoja, we are together. But in actual sense, you are not together. In actual sense, a lot of people on Sunday, they sin by being able to agree to things that they did not do. For example, your neighbor comes and asks you, Did you pray for us today in church? And then you just simply reply, sheepily, without, she without actually thinking. You say, oh yes, we'll pray for you. In fact, when you're just about to pass, maybe your neighbor ha operates a, a, a hotel and he's not able to go to church at the same time with you. Or even go to church all the same. And then they say to you, hey, mutuombe in Kiswahili means pray for us. Do you know what you should do? Next time, your neighbor, your friend, your workmate, your colleague, your sister, your brother, your chief, anybody asks you to pray for them. Do not tell them that you are. Do not tell them I'm going to pray another time. Do not tell them that I will pray at another point. Uh -uh. Do like what Jesus did. Whenever Jesus met every kind of circumstance or situation on his pathway, Jesus did not waste time. He did not tell the person, you know what? I went in the morning tomorrow, when I go to pray, I will remember to pray for you. Every time that Jesus made a situation that required prayer, he did not postpone the prayer. He did not postpone the reaching out. He did not postpone. Like for example, in Matthew 17, 14, Jesus came and healed a demon possessed, a demon possessed boy. What did he, what happened there in the, in uh, Matthew 17, 14. It says, When there came through the crowd, a man approached Jesus and knelt before him. Lord, have mercy on my son. He said, He has seizures and is suffering greatly. He often falls into the fire or onto the water. I brought him to your disciples, but they could not heal him. Jesus unbelief, uh, Then Jesus says, You unbelieving and perverse generation, Jesus replied, How long shall I stay with you? How long should I put up with you? Bring the boy here to me. Thus 18. Jesus rebuked the demon and it came out of the boy and he was healed at that moment. When the disciples came to Jesus in private and asked, Why couldn't we drive it out? Jesus replied, Because you have little faith. Truly I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, Move from here to there and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Look at that. Meditate upon it. Nothing is impossible. Nothing will be impossible for you. Praise the Lord. Nothing will be impossible for you. If your purpose to know the word of God more is actually what we need right now. If we know the word of God more, the challenges that we're having, they will have to flee. The situations and conditions that are surrounding our families, especially the family, is one of the units that the enemy has put a lot of opposition upon. That the family will be oppressed, that the family will be put down. But listen, when you have come before the presence of the Lord, it is a time to tell it all. It is a time to call on the name of the Lord. It is a time to declare and say, My enemies stand back 
And I right now declare that your enemies are turning back in the name of Jesus. Every enemy that has been pursuing you, we decree and declare at this time, let them turn back in the name of Jesus. Let them stumble and perish before you in the mighty name of Jesus. This is the word of the Lord. We decree the word of the Lord. Let me tell you, in a war, in a war situation, the soldiers will be able to operate using live ammunition, bombs, knives, bayonets, tankers, helicopters, submarines. All these are tools. But when you have the word of God in the spiritual realm, in the spiritual realm, if you have the word of God, you have the whole barracks. You have all those tools that you need for war. And I encourage us because, you know, when the Lord spoke to me in first of March and said, you're going to do this. I said, Lord, how, how will I do this? He said, you are going to do it by my grace. The same way that you started your weight loss journey and went along without stopping, I want you to do the same thing for the Lord. And I pray and I ask you actually and dear you to pray with me that the Lord will give us the grace to actually see the day 150 of 150. And what I know is that every single day we are reading these scriptures, there is something supernatural that God has already programmed and ordained in our situation, in our families, in our circumstances, in the mighty name of Jesus. When it says you rebuke the nations and destroyed the wicked, you blotted out their name forever and ever. Endless ruins have overtaken my enemies. You have uprooted their cities. Even their memory of them has perished. There are some of those situations and conditions and circumstances that have been coming against you. Ye will be completely wiped out and perish that you will not even remember them. You will look at them and ask yourself, what was it that I was so afraid of? What is it that kept me down? Because God is going to cause their memory to perish in the name of Jesus. The Lord reigns forever. He has established his throne for judgment. He rules the world in righteousness and judges the people with equity. The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Are you oppressed? Are you in trouble? Are you in a difficult time? Are you in a time where you are feeling oppressed, depressed, suppressed? Then this is the word of the Lord to you. Praise the name of the Lord. This is the word of the Lord to you. This is the word of the Lord to you. This is the word of the Lord to you. The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in the times of trouble. Those who know your name trust in you. For you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. Hey, listen to that assurance. The Lord has never forsaken those who trust in him. The Lord has never forsaken those who know his name. The Lord has never forsaken those who seek his face. And I encourage you, beloved, this morning, this night, this afternoon, as you're watching this video, that this word of the Lord is going to come expressly because we are among those that trust in the Lord. This is one of the scriptures to underline. Those who know your name, trust in you. I know your name, Lord. I trust in you. For Lord, you have never forsaken me when I seek you. As you are in the journey of seeking the Lord, as you are in the journey of reading the word of God, as you are in the journey of pressing on, tomorrow is Psalm 10 and I'm telling you I'm excited about Psalm 10 because there's something about Psalm 10 that the Lord speaks and declares that when we read it tomorrow, as we do it together, there is something supernatural that is going to happen. And I trust that the Lord will enable us by his grace to meet again on the day that is called 10th of, of March. And God is going to turn it around. God is going to turn it around. God is going to turn it around. God is turning it around in the name of Jesus. God is turning around that situation in the name of Jesus. Miracle money is going to locate you in the name of Jesus. Multiple rivers of income and cash are coming your way in the name of Jesus. Why am I talking about it? Because it says in the book of Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 that blessed be God, the Lord of our, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all heavenly, all spiritual blessing in Christ in the heavenly realms. Those who trust your name, trust in you. For you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. 
He does not ignore the cries of the afflicted. I want to encourage you, beloved of the Lord, that you have been afflicted. Do not forget the cry of the afflicted. The Lord does not forget the cry of the afflicted. The Lord does not forget those who are going through difficulties. The Lord does not forget those who are going through a challenge. The Lord does not forget through those who are going through a deep, deep problem. God knows about them. God knows about you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord have mercy and lift up the gates. Lift me up from the gates of death. This is Psalm 9 verse 13. Lord, see how my enemies persecute me. Have mercy and lift me up from the gates of death. He says again that I may declare your praises in the gates of the daughter of Zion. And there, and there rejoice in your salvation. The nations have fallen into the pit they have dug. Their feet are caught in the net they have hidden. This is, can be said as the day we are today. The nations have fallen into the pit they have dug. There are pits that nations have, have dug over themselves. I, I was watching a clip the other day of some people that, who are working so hard to deny God, who God is. Working so hard. Trying to desecrate the, the churches in Europe. In Europe, I know the blessed reflex, as it was called, the blessed reflex is come. And that's why we are preaching this gospel to you, Europe. Hear the word of the Lord. I know you can hear me, Europe. Europe, the Lord knows you. But the plants and those things that you have, you have, uh, you have dug, the pit that you have been digging, Europe, you are falling into it. And that's why the Lord is going to use us, the people in Africa, to reach you in Europe. And I bless the Lord because as he releases his word, even those nations that have forsaken the Lord will turn back to the Lord. Will turn back to the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of the Lord says the Lord is known by his acts of justice. The wicked are ensnared by the work of their hands. The wicked go down to the realm of the dead. All the nations that forget God. But God will never forget the needy. The hope of the afflicted will never perish. Arise, Lord. Do not let mortals triumph. Let the nations be judged in your presence. Strike them with terror, Lord. Let the nations know they are only mortal. This is the word of the Lord. And as I pray, I know that God has a supernatural breakthrough that he has already ordained for us. Today was a very, very power-packed day. Um, it was a very, very power-packed day for, you know, for us and for me particularly. I, um, I was able to record a feature which required me to be in a gym the whole time that they are recording. And when I think about it, I had to actually be in every of those stations in the gym that they required to film. And whatever I was doing was not a faking. I was actually exercising. And, you know, now when the night comes, I feel my body is telling me, oh, it's time to rest, it's time to sleep. And I told myself, you know what? Lord, I made a covenant with you that for the next 150 days, we are going to do this journey. So I thank God for giving me the grace and enabling me to come out here and publicly read Psalm 9. We thank God that he's going to help us by his grace. By the time we are reaching Psalm 150, there'll be a mighty move. There'll be a mighty move. One of those days, we are going to read out this psalm together with a congregation of believers. I believe that the Lord is going to give us that day. I believe that the Lord is going to give us a time when we can declare the word of the Lord. As you come before the Lord every single day and read out these scriptures, there's something supernatural that happens to you. 
when you read the word of God, the public reading of the word of God is powerful. It enables you and establishes you. The Lord begins to do a great work. You get fire. You get power. The demons will see you and they have nothing but tremble before the Lord. I got to pray because the Lord has enabled us and uh, it's time for me to rest. Beloved, I'll be honest with you. Today was tough. You know, recording uh, that feature meant that I was on the treadmill all the time. It, it meant that I had to go to the gym and lift the weights physically. And uh, after that, I was doing skipping. I was doing what? And after that, again, I went to the pool to crown it all. So my body is weak, but my spirit is willing. I thank God because my body is strengthened because my body does not operate. Spirit is the one in control. And I encourage you, and I'm going to teach you about the three in one that you are. You are godlike because you are three in one. You are soul, you are spirit, soul, and body. You are a spirit, you have a soul, and you live in a body. That is what I will be able to come across. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I will also be able to share with you the hierarchy that we shared the other time about this pyramid with God as number seven, then down is man, down is Satan, demons and angels. Then we have the unredeemed man, then we have the plants and animals, we have the animals and the fish, then the birds, and then we have the trees and the, and, and the plants and all those things. And then we have the last one being the minerals. So I'll be able to explain that divine order much later. But for now, we are doing some number what? Psalm number nine, and that's what we have finished. And I've also successfully been able to read this wonderful gift that I got uh, from my grandmother on the 20th, 2004 in August. And it's pretty new. I need to make use of it as well as we read. So let us pray. Mighty Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you tonight. Here in East Africa, it's tonight. But around the world, there are people who have just woken up. Those who are in America, those who are in Australia, those who are in West Africa, Lord. We want to just come before you. I want to come before you, oh my God. I want to pray that King of Glory, that you will show yourself strong, you show yourself powerful, you show yourself mighty, oh God. And that you, oh God Almighty, you move supernaturally. Move supernaturally, oh God. Move supernaturally. Lord, I pray, taking the prayer requests of my friends who have come here on the wall. There are those that are going through challenges and your word says that you will not forsake those who are afflicted. Father, your word in Psalm 24, 3, 4 says, Who may ascend the hill of the Lord? He who has clean hands and a pure heart who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully. Father, we bring our hearts and our hands before you, Lord Jesus, tonight, this morning, this afternoon. The Lord, we may ascend your hill. According to your word in Psalm 51, 17, that the sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. This, O Lord, this, O Lord, you will not despise. How we pray, King of Glory, that these sacrifices of God, of a broken spirit and a broken and a contrite heart, will be our portion, my Father, as we seek you, as you call on your name, as we as you seek your face, O oh my Father, as we pray that God Almighty will give us your presence, even as we call on you. Father, I want to thank you for the nations. I want to pray for the nation of Kenya. We have received a lot of terror threats. Your word says, Will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that wastes at noonday. Father, how I pray that this will be our portion. This will be our portion. That you will protect us, O oh my Father. You will protect this nation from terrorists. You will protect this nation from um, pestilences and sicknesses, even of livestock. 
Father God of livestock. Yes, Lord. We pray that you may have mercy on our, on our chicken and our poultry. The Lord, our food will not be affected. Lord, we pray for your forgiveness in any way that we have angered and triggered you, O oh God, that locusts are roaming our plants, roaming our, our, our farms, destroying our plants. Oh, my Father, my God. Tonight, as we are praying, God, a broken and contrite spirit, a broken and contrite heart, this you will not despise. This you will not despise. In the name of Jesus. Father, I want to pray, even Lord, for the President of the Republic of Kenya. Lord, I want to thank you for the armed forces, the KDF. Lord, those that are in the peacekeeping mission in Somalia. Lord, we cover them with the blood of Jesus. May you give them wisdom, the pilots, Father, as they provide air support and cause them to escape the anti-aircraft guns that the enemy always has them on the ground and instead cause those guns to jam and cause them to be re to receive the judgment that you release out to the wicked my father lord how we pray that you continue to give us grace as we read the psalm every day the lord these scriptures will come alive these scriptures will spring forth life in the name of jesus i praise you oh my father god even for your work of healing that we continue to see among us Lord, may you be exalted. Receive all the praise. Thank you for the anointing, O oh God. Thank you for the mighty anointing upon me, Lord, that you are releasing right now as we pray, King of glory. May answers to prayer manifest supernaturally. And Lord, let there be victory in the camp of the righteous. Father, we thank you. We give you praise, O oh Lord. We honor you. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be adored. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I am Malcolm David Silla. I'll see you in the next video, day 10 of 150. By the grace of God, we will get there. Keep checking, and the Lord is giving, is giving, is giving more grace and giving more revelation. I am Malcolm David Silla. Stay blessed. If you want to stand with this ministry, Feel free to send me an inbox of how the Lord has spoken to you. God bless you and stay blessed. See you in the next video. Big mention to Rispa Toya that was here, Joan Jomo, Brenda Oguel, Susan Blessing, Prosper, Ugochuku, Wairimu Gashura. Aha, Susan here was commenting when I was reading the the Kamba Bible. She said, Wachana Nayo means leave it. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm going to try and read the Kikuyu one. If I remember to carry it. Um, we have Ras Luigi very faithfully watching and listening. And not forgetting Council Gregory Ndege Moshimiwa in waiting. God bless you. Hide the book of the law in your heart. The lawyer came to the Lord and asked, What must we do to be saved? And all the lawyers here in the house, if you are asking the other same question, I come to tell you that how you will be saved. It's very simple. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be born again. I repeat it. Romans chapter 10, verse 8, 9, and 10. But what does it say? It says that the word is near you. It's in your mouth. And in your, in your heart, the word of faith that we profess. That if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord. And believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. You will be saved. You will be born again. If you have made this prayer, I want you to be encouraged and write down on the wall and write to me. And say, please, I have given my life to Christ when you asked us to do that. The most important thing is for you now to apply faith. And to apply it in your circumstance. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Here it's nighttime in Nairobi. And I want to pray and decree. 
manner of sicknesses and diseases the Lord has uprooted. Any witchcraft dreams that the enemy has been planting tears when we sleep. Tonight, we are receiving dreams and visions from the Lord. Three dreams and visions from the Lord. I want you to want to sleep and when you sleep, let your sleep be sweet. And when you sleep, let your sleep be full of revelation. When you sleep, you will not have sleep of demons chasing after you or you losing money. You are going to read the word of God. This word of God that we have read, Psalm 9, if you are just joining me. We have we began a journey on, Jan, on March 1st of reading the Bible, and particularly the hard copy Bible in from Psalm chapter 1 per day. So we started on Psalm 1, so today we are on Psalm 9. If at all you missed any of your words, I want you to just write a hashtag, hashtag. 150 days of Psalm, and you will be able to get all those that have been there line up there and you can listen to them can run a watch party for them and just allow people to be blessed because that is why god called us praise the name of the lord hallelujah george kelly my brother god bless you my bro god bless you mumbuni alumni misses you so check out that page uh, that group for a former high school, it's a good thing to be able to uh, just reconnect many, many years down the line. Glory be to the mighty, precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. See you in the next video. I am Malcolm David Taylor. Shalom, peace, and God bless.